Time once again for a straight talk with Risa and Edwina, and we welcome them back on the show. Thank you guys for being with us, Risa and Edwina. Appreciate it. Thank you, John. Okay, so sure. today we're, we're focusing on something I'm not very familiar with. It's the term locus of control. Now, I know most people want to have control of their lives. Not always easy. Can you tell our viewers and me, of course, what is locus of control? So the idea of, of locus of control was brought up originally by psychologist Julian Rotter in 1954. He was interested in understanding why some behaviors stick in people and others don't. And so he says that our lives are a series of um, actions and outcomes. And we ascribe a locus of control or identify a location that these uh, these actions and outcomes come from based on either internal or external uh, types of behaviors. And so if we ascribe internally, then we identify that our actions produce the outcomes. If we ascribe externally, then we blame, we tend to blame other people or we say that luck or fate are the reasons that something happens. And so with this, um, with this idea of internal locus of control, we take responsibility for the things that we want to happen to in life. And so we happen to life, so to speak, as opposed to the converse of external focus, which is more that life happens to us. And we are we we, we behave in more passive ways in that sense. And we, we think that things happen as a result of other circumstances, not our own doing. Whew, that's a lot of information. And I know, Edwina, you've always, always got some statistics for us. The queen of statistics, what are some of the stats on locus of control? Well, research shows us, John, that, you know, according to BMC Psychiatry, you know, those that have an internal locus of control, they were able to bear the pandemic and they tend to feel more control over their lives overall, you know, versus ones who have an external locus of control. Uh, they were more prone to things like depression, anxiety. Um, those who have an internal, comparatively speaking, internal locus of control, they were better with their physical health and their mental health and their overall quality of life. And those uh, who also have a blended of both internal and external loci tend to also have experienced more happiness. So there really is quite a difference statistically between the two. Okay, so I'm curious then to know what are some of the characteristics of people with internal and external locus of control? Right. So, you know, I think it's important to also note that um, the locus of control happens more on a continuum. People don't typically have 100% internal locus of control or 100% or external. Like we typically look for some kind of a balance and tend to have that as, as human beings. That being said, internal people with internal locus of control tend to be more um, uh, happier in their lives. They tend to have more success in the workplace, in their relationships. Uh, they are uh, they take more responsibility for their actions. They make goals and they work towards those goals and, and plan towards them. Um, they have healthier uh, uh, physical lives and mental health lives overall and um, just tend to, to exude a self-confidence and a self-efficacy that those with external locus of control don't have. So on the flip side, those with external locus of control tend to be less independent, uh, more dependent, if you will. They tend to be uh, less healthy, less active in their lives. They tend to be more uh, uh, focused on things that they don't have as opposed to what they do have and and tend to have more difficulties in the workplace and in relationships um okay so you got me hook line and sinker on this one how does a person develop more of an internal locus of control a uh, very good question john so you really want to take a, a, every opportunity to be able to intentionally do things that are different in order to be able to formulate more of an internal uh, locus of control and for example say normally that you tend to shirk or stay away from responsibilities you know instead of doing that maybe practice you know what part of a problem or situation do you own um also as Risa was saying you know setting small goals and really being intentful and purposeful in achieving them and um really also it's also looking at gratitude, right? Identifying things that you do have versus the things that you don't have and appreciating it. Um, and it's, instead of maybe the grumbling or complaining about things. And a person can also work with a therapist to, who can assist them to understand more of, of steps that they can take to be more internally focused as well too. Well, I really appreciate you guys coming on the show. Uh, what can someone do if they have questions about this topic? Locus of control. They can contact our office at 808-375-7712 or go online to www.hookoollc.com.
And of course, we'll have that information on KH12.com, as well as past topics that have been discussed right here with a straight talk with Reese and Edwina. Thank you guys so much. We'll be right back with much more. Look at the way.